Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and yet another Space Engine video. But this one is going to be with a twist. Because as you can probably tell from the title, I'm running it on a system that is not meant to run this. Now let's actually talk a little bit more about this as I tell you what's going on here. Uh, this particular video is basically going to be all about this new really really cool release um, from Steam and basically an ability for us to now run pretty much any Windows game from uh, Steam and from Linux. And in this particular case, I'm actually running Space Engine, which was previously impossible for me to do. Now, I've actually been using Linux for a really long time now, but I always have to do what's known as a dual boot. Basically, I have Windows system and Linux system all together on the same computer. And when I want to go and do some work, I'm going to, I have to reboot my computer, I go to Linux. And when I need to record something, or if I just want to play a video game, I return back to Windows. It's actually how a lot of people usually do it. And most of the time, people either completely quit Windows and move to things like Mac or Linux, but then they have to basically sacrifice the video games because a lot of video games, for the most part, would never work on Linux. Uh, and this was actually a huge problem for most Linux users for a long time. And over the years, I was actually able to create quite a library here uh, on Steam. And a lot of these games, I think something like probably 80% of these were not available for me to play on uh, Linux systems. But very recently, Steam did something incredible. They released this absolutely incredible free software, or technically it's actually just an add-on called Proton. It's based on uh, what's known as Wine, which is uh, kind of like an emulator, but it's not really an emulator, to run Windows programs and Windows video games on both Mac and also on um, Linux systems. And this one was, as you can see, released a few months ago, but the biggest update was only sort of included into Steam very recently. And actually, for the longest time, I could not use Linux to its full potential because of, I guess, these video games, but also because one of the biggest software I use for recording videos, Space Engine, was actually not available to me. I had to always come back to Windows to um, use Space Engine because I didn't really know how to get it installed on Linux and how to make it work. So first of all, apparently there is a tutorial which I later found as I started searching um, for various ways of running Space Engine on Linux and someone actually did make a really cool tutorial that allows you to run Space Engine on Linux even without Steam and uh, I think most of you probably don't have the Steam version because I believe it's still in closed beta um, only uh, but hopefully in the next few months they'll finally release it to open access which means that everybody's going to be able to play it from um, any Linux system which is something that I'm really looking forward to because I really want to abandon Windows and forget about it. Uh, Windows has done nothing but cause me trouble. As a matter of fact, the Windows in that I have installed currently doesn't even work that well. It always crashes, it always creates a lot of problems. Linux, however, is great, and it's actually running Space Engine surprisingly much better than um, even my crappy Windows system. And this is actually really surprising, because when I ran Space Engine here on Linux, as opposed to my Windows system, um, in 4K, I actually got more frames per second, almost double frames per second, which was kind of surprising and unusual. And I think whatever is happening on Windows is definitely not really well optimized because uh, technically this is running um, within an emulator, so or uh, kind of like an emulator. So it shouldn't really give you full performance, but it is giving me more performance than my Windows uh, machine. Now you may be actually not interested in Linux or you may have never tried it, but are kind of curious to try. I highly, highly recommend that you give it a try. It's way, way better than anything Windows has to offer, at least now in 2018. And it's definitely way above what Mac has as well. And because it's a free operating system and has a tremendous support, a uh, very, very big community, it's actually something that is um, probably going to be the future. Now, it's already taken over uh, the mobiles, it's pretty much taken over the servers. Every server runs on Linux of like 99%. Um, the vast majority of mobile phones use Linux as well. And you may have not known, but Steam, SteamOS is actually a Linux system, which is why they introduced this new update that allows you to run every Windows game uh, using this uh, system called Proton. Now, before I show you how to actually run um, Space Engine on Linux, let me show you some of the uh, possible operating systems that you can use. So um, one thing that you may want to try if you're just starting is this, which is uh, the most uh, famous and I guess most highly supported Linux operating system. It's called Ubuntu. 
This particular system is actually relatively easy to use and it looks very, very similar to how a Mac system would look. Um, and it, it's, in some sense, it's actually one of the most highly respected in the professional world as well. So like, for example, if you want to become a developer or if you want to work in a company that uses a lot of software, um, Ubuntu is probably what they're going to be using. As a matter of fact, most of uh, my colleagues or most of my friends who use any kind of, uh, like, let's just say, uh, machine learning or AI or any kind of a programming, they usually use Ubuntu. Another one that I actually highly recommend, the one that looks really, really pretty, is Linux Mint. Uh, this is another uh, very similar system. And both of these uh, Linux systems are actually derivatives of um, an old uh, OS known as Debian, Debian Linux. Um, and then there's another one that's actually, that's what I'm using, uh, called Manjaro. This is actually mostly uh, for a, more advanced users, but I totally recommend that you try it as well because it's kind of fun. Um, Manjaro is a little bit different in that um, a lot of things have to be done manually, and it also gives you a tremendous amount of options in how you want to organize your desktop, what you want to do with it. Um, but it is a very powerful system and it also looks very, very beautiful. And since basically Steam is essentially a Linux operating system, it actually runs on my Linux system much better than it would run on Windows. And what's interesting is that previously my uh, Steam games library was actually much smaller for Linux than it was for Windows. Now it's actually exactly the same. So every single game that I can run on Windows will actually work pretty much uh, very similar to how it would work on Windows, maybe with slight uh, reduction of quality, but not by much, not enough to notice. So I, I definitely have to congratulate uh, Steam Team to finally be able to pull it off. This will definitely bring a huge community into games um, and will most likely um, introduce a whole new generation of Linux gamers. And even though this actually doesn't affect most gamers, because I think most gamers today still use Windows, it actually changes the dynamics completely, but also um, introduces this chance for older gamers to come back because a lot of people actually have switched to Linux from back in the days. Windows just kind of really pissed a lot of people off. Um, and so now many people who are using Linux full time can finally play games that they would love to play without really any effort because as a, you just need to click one button and it just starts the game. And so all of those space games that I actually played on the channel that were pretty much like 99% of them, except for, I guess, Universe Sandbox Square or Windows only, can now be played from Linux without really any effort. I just have to install them and click play. Now, here's the cool part. Um, now, let's say you actually want to try Linux and want to install Space Engine and you don't have the Steam version of the game. You never got into the closed beta. How do you actually install it? Well, get the installation file from the website and all you have to do is install um, a different software that is called Play on Linux. Uh, I think I have it installed here somewhere. It's going to show up in a second. And uh, this is, oh, permission denied, nonsense, here it is. This is what it looks like. Uh, all you have to do is basically click on install and add the uh, Space Engine installation file through this. Uh, there's actually a, a small tutorial that uh, someone wrote last year. And here is the guide I mentioned. It's basically a step-by-step -step guide on how to use this Play on Linux to install Space Engine and to make it work uh, without any glitches or any any problems. Um, the best part about this is that it seems to not really require much and once you install it, uh, which probably will take you a minute or two minutes max, uh, you can then play Space Engine on Linux in a slightly better FPS than I got on Windows. Now, I don't know if it's just my system or if my Windows is just completely busted that it's creating this environment where Space Engine doesn't work very well, but when I tested this, Basically, when I went to Sagittarius A star, I jumped to it and um, and approached the black hole and basically tried to interact with the environment nearby. Normally, I don't get that much FPS here because of the various dilation effects that start happening. And um, normally, if I do this on 4K, it actually becomes ridiculously slow. But in this particular situation, no matter what uh, I did, the FPS was actually much higher than on Windows. And this was really surprising to me because I did not expect my Linux system to run video games better than my Windows system, at least Space Engine, because this is one game that I use a lot uh, for recording. And this was pretty much one of the most important tools for me. Uh, and one thing that was keeping me away from Linux uh, 100%. So now that I have this and now that everything works, um, 
I personally will probably switch to Linux completely, and I highly recommend you do the same, mostly because Windows has reached a point where it's just not really that good compared to what Linux has become. Uh, maybe 20 years ago, it really wasn't the same. When I just started Linux, uh, when I was just out of college, um, it just wasn't really the same in terms of ease, ease of use and um, not much software was also available for free, uh, but now there's pretty much everything. You know, think of any kind of a software you have, you, you will probably have it on Linux. Think of any video game you have, you'll be able to play it on Linux. And usually most of the software on Linux is free. So actually all of the tools I'm using to record this and all of the tools I'll be using to edit this video are absolutely free and open source. So there's this advantage as well. And so from now on, every video you see uh, that's going to have Space Engine in it or Universe Sandbox, is probably a video that I made in Linux and it's something that I'm super excited about. You might not be if you don't use the system, but I highly recommend that you try because it's leaps and bounds better than anything, any other operating system you might be using right now. On that note, uh, thank you so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions about how to install the system. Maybe I'll do like a step-by-step -step guide on the installation, but also on how to use Space Engine and Universe Sandbox in Linux. But most importantly, do try it out because it's actually something that will help you both professionally and will teach you a lot of stuff about computers. Anyway, so that's kind of all I wanted to show you in this video. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see something else about Linux. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye. Oh, and a little side note, if you are the developer of Space Engine, yes, Vladimir, I'm talking to you, can you please, please, please make the Space Engine available to everyone on Steam? Because it is actually absolutely awesome to be able to play it from Steam, not through an actual um, file on your hard drive. And those of us on Linux will definitely appreciate this. Um, I know that developing the game by yourself is very difficult and I'm sure that if he puts it on Steam or I guess if you put it on Steam and make it publicly available, even if it's in early access and if you have to pay a little bit for it, uh, most people will probably buy it. So I think uh, Space Engine is ready for early access and I think we would all be very, very happy to support you. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let's support this guy making Space Engine and also let's actually appreciate this incredible product which is actually absolutely free and has been available for years and years and years and in the meanwhile i'm actually going to go and format my windows drive because i don't think i'm going to be needing it anymore goodbye windows it was nice to know you but i don't think we'll be needing you anymore